Hi everyone, this is Brio from Kelsoft Systems. Today, I would like to compare Oracle NetSuite and Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So this video is for those who are wondering which system best fits your business. Oracle NetSuite and Dynamics 365 Business Central are both commonly used ERP systems by mid-sized companies. And I will fairly compare the systems and share with you the top three differences between them. First, let's go over the core capabilities and rate them from fair, good, great. And I have listed seven core functionalities, accounting, inventory management, supply chain management, manufacturing, warehouse management, CRM, and AI functions. So both systems have great functions in most of their modules, both great for accounting and inventory management. Both NetSuite and Business Central have great supply chain modules, for example, shipment and distribution, and procurement, inventory and purchasing control, and so on. And also, both have real-time KPI to analyze your data, but I will say NetSuite of supply chain is more complex. And also, there's one thing to note, uh, NetSuite supply chain management is an additional modules that users need to subscribe. And for manufacturing, especially smaller to mid-sized businesses, Business Central is generally considered a better solution than NetSuite due to more cost effectiveness and its flexibility to adapt more specific business processes. And while NetSuite might be better suit for larger and more complex manufacturing operations with extensive global needs. For warehouse management, NetSuite has good RF barcode scanning for put away and picking to reduce manual work. However, it is an additional module. For Business Central, it has similar functions, but I rate it good because there are limited functions out of the box compared to NetSuite. And for CRM, uh, NetSuite has great CRM functions like marketing tools. On the other hand, Business Central users need to integrate with dynamic cells for full CRM functions, meaning there are limited CRM functions out of the box for Business Central. Lastly, for AI functions, both NetSuite and Business Central have AI functions out of the box. However, Business Central has better AI functions than NetSuite, so I rated NetSuite as good and Business Central as great. And I will discuss this in more detail later on. I believe the first big difference is the user interface. First, let's look at Business Central and it has modern and intuitive design with a role-based interface. And the UI integrates seamlessly with other applications like Microsoft product and other third-party apps, which can enhance your productivity. And users can easily personalize their page and tailoring the interface to specific needs. And for NetSuite, it offers a functional design. Customization is also possible using SuiteScript to personalize. While both UIs are highly customizable, uh, Business Central is often perceived as more modern and well-organized and NetSuite as outdated design. Uh, since I mentioned integration with other applications, I want to share the number of apps available through SuiteApp.com and AppSource. SuiteApp.com is where you can find third-party application that you can integrate with uh, Oracle and AppSource that where you can find third-party apps for Dynamics 365. And I filtered it to apps that can be integrated with NetSuite on SuiteApp.com and Business Central on AppSource. And as you can see, there are 752 results for NetSuite and 6,539 results for Business Central. So there is about 10 times more third-party apps available meaning there's more options and you're likely to find apps that fits your business needs on AppSource for Business Central. And the second difference is the cost, and I believe this may be the most important part for decision makers, but here's an example of five-year cost comparison with basic implementation for eight full users. So the first year would include the implementation cost and the subscription fee. And of course, it will depend on the requirements and the implementation partner, but NetSuite usually has lower implementation fee compared to Business Central. So for NetSuite, there's a one-time $35K implementation fee, 
and $45k annual subscription fee, totaling of $80k in the first year. And on the other hand, for Business Central, there is 95k one-time implementation fee and $6,720 annual subscription fee, totaling up to $100k in the first year. So from the second year, it will only be the subscription fee, but there is a significant difference between NetSuite and Business Central. So Business Central will not have subscription increase when renewing the license, so the fee will remain $6,720 as long as Microsoft doesn't announce a price increase. However, for NetSuite, it has an increase in subscription. The average subscription increase rate is 10% every year, which will be around $49k in the second year and $54k in the third year and so on. So when we look at the total 5-year plan, we can see that NetSuite cost will be more than double compared to Business Central. And users are often surprised by the cost difference between NetSuite and Business Central and how costly Business Central implementation can be. But when we look at the bigger picture, Business Central is more cost-effective overall than NetSuite. And companies are likely looking for a system that will be used for long term, so Business Central will be better for cost efficiency. And the third difference is the AI function. Both NetSuite and Business Central have AI functions embedded. Oracle and Microsoft invest a lot in AI for their systems to help users reduce manual work and to work more efficiently. NetSuite runs on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and Microsoft has invested more than $14 billion in OpenAI. And each system has uh, sales processing features, item description creation for e-commerce, data analytics, and more. And I believe the biggest difference is the Copilot chat box. In Business Central, there's a Copilot chat feature that allows users to ask questions and get guidance when needed. And I created a video for Copilot in Business Central, so you can check that out if you're interested. So we went over the three key differences to compare Oracle NetSuite and Dynamics 365 Business Central. And both systems are popular ERP systems for mid-sized companies. First, we went over the user interface and integration capabilities. Business Central often perceived as more modern and well-organized, and NetSuite as outdated UI. For integration, Business Central has a larger ecosystem and has around 10 times more third-party applications compared to NetSuite. Second, we went over the cost difference. NetSuite generally has a lower initial implementation. However, the subscription fee will increase around 10% each year, make it more expensive over time. And Business Central has consistent annual subscription, making it more cost effective. Lastly, both systems have embedded AI functions to reduce manual work, but Business Central has Copilot chat feature as a user assistant to help increase productivity. So we compared UI, cost, AI functions, and rated it from fair, good, great. And I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.